What's up guys, coming at you today with a little dank solo base build video. Uh, just so you know, you need six large boxes before you start this and the reinforced glass window BP. Also, please make sure you watch to the end. I have a little bonus clip waiting for you. I think it's going to be useful to some of you. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, going to start off with a little tour. First, we got our double door air lock. After that, we're greeted by two large boxes for all your storage needs. Got the light switch on the right so you can see at night. And in our same triangle, we have our TC and our workbench. Very efficient use of space, in my opinion. And yeah, we got some drop boxes for a little extra storage as well. Pretty nice. And as you continue into your core, you got your furnaces and your sleeping bag. And at the end, you have a reinforced glass window loot room that fits six boxes. And we've also got our battery in here for all your power needs. And yeah, with that, let's get right into the build. So you're gonna start here by putting down your foundations, laying the footprint of your base. Add a half wall right there so you have a place to put your triangle shelf. After that, just box yourself in with full walls. Don't forget the door. Gotta stay protected in case you get jumped while you do this. Once you got yourself sealed in, make sure you finish that roof off. Then you're gonna see what is going to be your loot room with a uh, window frame. Make sure that's facing towards you, towards the inside of your base and go outside. Right here we're gonna block ourselves out with a reinforced glass window so no one can get in while you're building it. And then after this you're gonna do Evil Worst's four box in one foundation trick. Might take a couple tries but if you just watch you'll see how to do it. Make sure when you place each box the farthest right hand corner from you is as much to the right into the corner of the wall as possible, if that makes any sense. That'll make it a little easier. Sometimes you just have to wiggle it and then eventually it'll turn blue. Right there. Alright, and once you get your four boxes down, put your floor triangle up here to create your shelf. And start putting the two other boxes on top of the triangle. And after about six attempts at doing this, I realized that the easiest way to get your boxes up on the triangle is to just stand above it on the roof. It's way easier. And to get the second box, you just stand on the first one you place down like so and wiggle it around and eventually it'll fit. And yeah, that feels good. But yeah, after that, just seal it off and now you have your base. So yep, just put that window in, seal it off, and now it's time to put your TC down. Definitely do this first, otherwise people can kill you and use your hammer to take away your reinforced window and get into your base. Uh, also make sure you put your garage door onto the door frame before you put your level 2 workbench or level 1 workbench in. But yeah, you can access your TC through the workbench, which is cool, and when the doors close, it kind of looks like... There's nothing else behind there. It kind of looks like the workbench is taking up the whole thing. Kind of like this trick. I use it every once in a while. And yeah, as you can see, you could access. I think you can access the workbench and the um, the small box while the door is closed. So it's pretty useful. I like it a lot. Next, add two door frames there, and add your garage doors before you put your furnaces down. If you put your furnaces down and you don't add garage doors, you'll have to pick the furnaces back up before you can actually add the garage doors later. So I like to do it first if I can, if I have them crafted. But yeah, place your furnaces down. I like them all facing towards the walkway because it's kind of aesthetically pleasing when they're all on. And slide that bag into the corner so that it's not peeking out of the garage door when it's shut. Don't want to give any clues.
Alright, once you get to this point, just put down your extra storage boxes like so. I try to arrange them in a way where you could just run through the door to get out. You don't have to do any extra jumping over the boxes or whatever, because I personally find that really annoying. Some people don't mind, but, but yeah, if you place your drop boxes low enough, you can actually clip them through your large box, which is kind of cool. Alright, uh, so next you're going to want to hunt comb. Make sure you're as secure as possible. But I messed up in the original video. Um, some of the walls in your loot room you can't reach without moving your boxes. And you can't move your boxes because you might not be able to replace them the same way. It's just really annoying. So make sure that you make the outer walls metal before you put your stone walls over them. Okay, so after you've metaled up your outer walls outside the loot room, just honeycomb with stone or whatever you want. Honestly, it's up to you this part. It's creative, but your build cost might be different from what I have in the video if you don't do it the same way. Um, yep, make sure you get that roof honeycombed over the TC and the loot room. That's pretty important. Alright, after you honeycomb your loot room, uh, make sure that you upgrade some of these important walls to metal as well. Alright, now that you have that inside wall and ceiling upgraded, go outside and upgrade the TC wall and foundation. Okay, so now that you have honeycombed your walls and you're secured, it's time to add your electricity in. I thought it was really cool that you could fit the small battery in between those four boxes because it just makes as much use of the space as possible, in my opinion. Because sometimes it's annoying having a battery out in like the rest of your base affecting your mobility and whatnot so yep just add your lights clearly like so you can do it however you want but I think that a small battery is pretty good for just two lights uh, after that go to your roof and add that solar panel in uh, anytime you're in playing rust I think you should add your solar panels facing to the south and so they go east west like so That way the sun is shining on them all day, so you get the most efficient use out of it. That's at least something I've noticed that gets me better use of my electricity. But yeah, I think I'm just going to speed through the rest of this and put some memes up on the screen because I know you guys all know how to do the electrical wiring, so we'll be right back. But yeah, now we're just gonna check that we can access both the TC and the small box under the bench, which we can. My favorite thing about this build is just how easy it is to reach everything. It's all super compact and you can kind of reach everything by standing in one spot so it's super convenient in that sense. And once you have your wires set up that is the completed base. Um, let's just check that cost real quick. See how cheap that is but it looks like it's about 7k stone, 1.5k wood and 1.5k metal which I think is very cheap. Uh, this will be at least 12 rockets to raid so pretty good value for what you have to farm to get out of it or whatever but yeah clearly you should never just copy bases exactly as you see them on YouTube uh, always put your own twist and everything because people are always watching rest YouTube videos and learning more about the game and how to build bases but yeah guys thanks for watching whoever did uh, it means a lot honestly uh, I actually do put a decent amount of work into these videos and I'm really starting to enjoy making them so uh, if you want to see more definitely toss me a like or a sub not going to stop regardless. I'm going to keep making videos, but yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day and peace out. <laughs> you thought we were done. I told you we had something in store for you at the end. This is the bonus building tip. Um, so basically, if you're using the four box technique and you have four foundations around the boxes, it's not going to let you upgrade. It's going to say hashtag upgrade blocked. 
All you have to do is remove the boxes and it'll let you upgrade as long as there's no boxes touching the foundation anymore. Uh, basically, it's just an anti-exploit procedure they have in place so that you can't place anything under foundations. So, thank you. I hope you learned something from this little bonus clip. And yeah, peace out and have a good day.